Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mini Motorways. Today we're starting out with the 10 year anniversary, or the miniversary as they call it. Now in this new update, they've added a new building type to kind of mark their 10 years of building mini projects, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna be going all the way to the front of this and doing London. Now, as you can see in this little little bubble up here, maybe I'll zoom in, future me, zoom in. There's like a little train line that goes around here and across this river edge. Now that is a train, as you can see right up here. Kind of looks like this, and it brings passengers essentially at a constant rate, but all at once. So you have to kind of build around that. So let's do this one, then we'll maybe try Mumbai and then New York City if things go well. I might have to spend a bit of time working on this train thing though. It's a little bit different. Let's change it to that dark mode. It seems they set up or reset my settings. Now I think, yeah, they mentioned at the bottom, it's supposed to kind of emulate the London tube, which I think is a very well-known train line or subway line in London. I've never been to London. Maybe I should go. And this is how it kind of works. So instead of the uh, overtime tips that you get at a normal spot, you get all of them all at once at these trains when the train comes by. Now the other thing that's a little bit annoying is that you get this like intersection point. So let's just quickly fix this up. I think we can probably do a long spin around here like that. And then on this side, we can just cross over that real quick. Now, hopefully a train comes by and I can show you what it will do if there's, you know, cross traffic. Yeah, so this will come by, drop off one or two, hopefully just one. Yep. And then one car goes. Now on this side, oh, I think it'll line up pretty well. No. <laughs> well, the car will stop. It'll have to like wait. It does kind of like think about it when he gets there. But if there's a train going by, it's forced to stop. Now, this is a really nice pause point for us, probably. If we get more blue, then we can work with this. Uh, but we can just kind of say, hey, just do that. In fact, we could even probably do this. Because it all comes at once, I, I've got a theory that you don't actually need a large population attached to it. You should probably prioritize other spots. In fact, I don't, <laughs> I don't like this too much. I don't want to cross over this train line. Maybe we'll wait till the end of Sunday. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, I wonder if you could put a fake. Okay, we're gonna grab train traffic lights. Uh, I want to know if you can put a uh, road along the train. I don't know if that actually would <laughs> do anything useful. Huh. I'm sure there's probably some way to cheese this that the developers haven't thought of yet. Maybe we can find that here. But I think for now, let's just do... Maybe bring this up. You know what? I think I'll flip this all around on the next round. So I'll make it so that the blue goes to the left, this blue comes down, and the red goes up. Short paths for these, and then a longer path for the blue. And then yellow can snake where this red is right now, I think. Yeah, so let's just grab another bridge, probably. I'm still not a big fan of those uh, traffic lights, even though they made them better. I just, I don't know, something about it that I don't like. All right, so that's all fixed up, Ooh, but it still has that one issue. I guess we could just do this for now, and then on this side, we can split it off like that. We need a little bit more space, and this red is basically saying, uh-uh. Could get a little bit more space by turning these down like this kind of really <laughs> really mess with yellow and just do something like that and this red can come in through here and these blues can continue with their journey on this side uh but uh oh, it's gonna have to be connected i guess that's not too bad of a, a setup oh wait that would connect these two to get oh we need. <laughs> we just need more blue. I think that's the solution. Let's just see if we get more blue somewhere and then work with that. For now, I guess that works, and we can cut this off. Something like that. I don't know where this car is going. <laughs> where are you going, buddy? <laughs> okay, looks good. It looks like a good start. A little bit cramped. I don't want to cross over this river too much yet. I'm not sure how this will work out. They really like putting the colors on the other side of the track compared to where their commuters are coming from. I think that's something that they really are trying to push with this update, or at least this type of, sorry, tree, with this type of map. Uh, we could actually do this, keep all these. This can go here now, and these can go this way. And then up here, we can just do that. Three-way intersection, throw in a traffic light, call it a day. 
I'm not sure how this one will react to the traffic light. Maybe it... Yeah, interesting. Ooh, I wonder how that'll work. Like, does the train stop? Oh, now we're thinking. Is we can make the train stop. Like, a lot. I don't know, it looks like the train... Ooh, which train is okay with just running people over? But yeah, if we can make the train stop, then we can really kind of milk the time that it takes for another train to come by. And then probably just forget about the train stations a little bit more. We do have this blue down here. I'm kind of hoping that another couple spawn right here. And then I can bring this up across the river, maybe even around this yellow. Maybe this is smart to do. Give them a bit of a journey, but then we can cut this off. That works out just fine. I think that's good. I think that's, you know, first day back. We're doing fine. Good vibes. No, oh, uh, oh no. Uh, let's just do some quick stuff. I haven't seen a motorway yet, and I think we're on, what, week three? Week four? Just do that. Okay, I do want to keep playing around with this. So let's grab the roundabout and just throw that on. Oh, you can't. You can't put the roundabout on the tracks. Oh, they're smart. They figured me out. How close can you put it? Ooh, not even near it. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, so they knew that somebody like me was going to come along and try and break it. <laughs> we have two here, one there. That's fine. These are great. Yellow is a bit of a distance. Red, you can work with that. And throw something on here. That could be good, because then we can do red here. And then this red doesn't have to go all the way around. This can go down with the yellow, because it's already doing that. And then we can, <laughs> we can fix this up again, so that they're not crossing traffic until they get over here. And then this is a right on red, and that's a straight through. Ooh, I like that. That's a good setup right there. Now, the only thing that's a little bit concerning is that if there's a train going by, then this might turn red and slow down the rest of the traffic as it's waiting for the train. But I don't know how that interaction works yet. We are going to need a little bit more red. This is a bit of a distance. This will be fine. Like, it's going to be fine. Again, I don't want to get crossing this too many times because those interruptions do add up. But I think we're good. Just finishing up Sunday, and that should be fine. Oh, you know what? I just saw right here. That might be a bit of an issue. Because when this train goes by, it slows down at the station. So I think I might have to destroy my tree friends. Oh, no. No, that, <laughs> that's not going to work. Oh, no. Okay. So this is closer. That's great. Uh, let's do something on this side. Two on that. Two on this. Red down here needs a help. We only got red spawns up here. Okay. Got a lot of yellow. Okay. Uh, let's do that. This needs to be redone. So let's do that. That one's good. And then on this side, I guess we could add the reds onto this and throw in the roundabout somewhere nearby. Ah, uh, it's this train line. Okay, we could do that. This is fine. We can do this and then throw the red directly onto that. We only need the one here, and then this goes across into there. Yellow will fix itself. On this side, we cut this out like that. Oh, and then I need that other blue as well. There we go. Yeah, see, so you get these really long traffic snakes over here. And then what I was worried about over on this side... Oh, wow, that stopped abruptly. Yeah, see, it slows down right there, so they actually have to wait longer if it's on this side close to it. So maybe even if I just do it a little farther out, that might save them a lot of time. Still no motorways. Maybe they got... They wouldn't get rid of motorways, right? In many motorways, they, would, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> I did see some gripes online. Uh, full disclosure, I did watch the Steam Alive event. Just to see, like, a little bit about this. Like, I, I kind of didn't want to go into it completely blind. Um, but I did see some people griping about this map because the tube is underground, right? So <laughs> they're like, why is it even interrupting traffic? I'm sure there's some parts that are above ground, but... As far as I'm aware, subways and tubes in general are usually away from traffic. Not a big deal. I mean, thematically, it's still fine. It works. That car just went through the train. <laughs> okay, so it seems like there's a couple bugs still. Maybe we can work with that? Let's keep an eye on that. Maybe if it's too close to this destination, then it doesn't 
properly identify the car. Let's see, here comes a car. It's gonna make it past. No, it has to wait on this side. Hmm, okay. Well, something to keep track of. Everything else is doing fine, so I can definitely put some resources into watching traffic. There's the motorways. Okay, good. Uh, we do get the green. There's definitely a lot of spots that I could use that. So, in terms of when to use a motorway on this map, I'm pretty sure the answer is whenever you cross a train that's a good time to use a motorway. So there might be a case where you take one of these and put it into a roundabout and just plop it onto the other side, especially if you're working with trains, because you know that that's like a, what's it called? Like a consistent rate, a flow rate, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> like every now and then it's gonna come by, you can kind of work with that traffic, you can figure out exactly how much is gonna be needed and then just build off of that. Build your network off of that at least. So let's do this for now. I think green's a good candidate. We could even go crazy. Can we slip it through there? If we do this, we could do... Oh, you know what? We could. We could do this. Get rid of this one tree, sorry. Uh, there we go. And then this. And that, that, I mean, this is getting a little crazy, but this works. Then over here, we don't need this. We just put this a little higher and do some sort of merge thing on this side. I think that works. So that's green more or less handled. That's an amazing spawn. That's, okay, I can make that work too. <laughs> I wish it was like flipped. If it was on the other side of the train tracks, that'd be awesome, but we can make this work. So that's green sorted. Now if we get, ooh, there's a dark blue down here. Interesting. If we get, uh, let's see, one more motorway, then we can probably do something over here. This is giving me vibes of being able to do something like a river crossing. Something like that. You could even rip this off, integrate this. There's the 300, nice. And then on this side, pop it into there. I think that's shorter. And then connect that up. Uh, let's do a roundabout. This red goes up here now. This is now a multi-connected route. So that's not good. So if I want to do this red with this red, then it needs to be just that. So let's keep it as is. This was fine. This gives blue a little more help. And probably, this one's doing fine. We don't actually need more there. This line definitely needs more. There's a lot of congestion here. So maybe a bypass here. We could probably figure out a way to disconnect these two entirely. So we've got yellow, red. And red doesn't need. Red needs to go that way. <laughs> oh no. Um, let's do this this way. This here. This crosses. And then cut there. So then red, red takes a long path around. This is now just those colors. Green, what are you doing? Oh, green got so many more population. Okay. Uh, pa don't panic, don't panic. This is normal, this is fine. It just needs a roundabout instead. Perfect. Uh, yellow spawn, okay. That should be enough. Oh, we're only getting two on that. This does complicate this side now, because I just cleaned this up and now it's broken again! But we don't need as much on this anymore because it's just a one, so we put two there. We got lots up here, actually. Let's just, uh, get rid of this line entirely. And drop it on that. This can go over here. We'll keep these two roads right beside each other. And then on this side, we'll just throw in... Oh, that's the end. Let's do a bridge, road of bridges. Is there a way we can rework the bridges? I think it's probably best just to cross traffic here. Let's make this a straight-ish road first. Then cross here. Like that, I guess. Oh god, straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. There we go, there we go. Maybe throw in a road here, because that seems really important. We have 70 roads? What am I doing? We're good. This is fine. This... <laughs> famous last words. This is fine. This is fine. We can also move this green line forward if we need to. If we need more. This one is just barely hanging on. See how the one car got all the way back? And it's got about... What? Um, a second of extra time? Double green spawn. Okay. So we have... <laughs> we can... 
do this again and just do another cut and interrupt it here. I think that's fine. We can do that and wait for a couple more greens. Yellow is definitely a problem, but only this internal yellow. Like this, this railroad is actually kind of messing with us. Four greens on that side, they all get pumped. And we don't have to worry about green until this gets back all the way around to here. So as long as we have a short enough distance for those four to go, we should be fine. That's great, I'm gonna take that. Some light blue, we did see a light blue level up there. So this is probably for that. We do have quite a few there. There's still, what, two in the garage? One in the garage? Three. Uh, that's enough. There's four cars, four pips. And I'm pretty sure they all go home before this goes halfway around. Yes. Now green is a little bit more precarious. That might be a candidate for a little bit more help. Oh yeah, this green needs more help too. Mm-hmm. I think we can wait it out till Saturday, or Sunday, sorry. And then figure something out. <laughs> We're getting a lot of weird spawns, so let's uh, quickly do this. Oh wait, put in the road first. So we'll do a right-hand red road right here. So when they come back, they'll take a right. So there's hopefully no interruption there. Make this road... Oh, <laughs> trying to make this road straighter, but it's not. There we go. If we get a couple more green down here, then we can just like rotate this up. Maybe we can even try that. Take all this road back and just divert this back population. Looks like we've hit the edge of the map. So this is all the space we're gonna have to work with. But I think I like this. Lots of blue on this side. Nowhere to take it. Uh, ooh. So let's see. Three tip, three pips there. Let's quickly run a road. Ooh, there's a bridge, perfect. Got more red spawns there. What else spawns in that break? It's not supposed to spawn like that. <laughs> we have 88 roads, so distance is not an issue for us. So why don't we do something like this? Convert this over to here, and then on this side, we can do blue, okay. Yeah, throw that on there. That's enough for that. That's definitely enough for that. There's only a way to get green uh, in a better position. This blue hopefully fixed. Let's see how that goes. Yellow is... that's fine. Let's put one more on it just to make sure. Oh, there's some blue there. You know what? <laughs> that's infinitely a better solution. Uh, actually, let's keep it like that. This will start to tick up really fast when we get into the... what's it called? What's that? What's I used to call that? Rush hour. Rush hour. <laughs> it's been so long I forgot what I called it. Yeah, this is already... this is doing fine, I think, but it's not gonna hold up. It's already gonna start pulling from this back population. But it's got its own road. We can throw in this light as well, so that the back population doesn't slow down the front population. Just a couple interruptions whenever it gets a little bit more dicey. This one's doing fine. Yellow is struggling. I think we might be able to just long haul a whole bunch of yellow across the map. So maybe we can do something like this. Take these ones, put them there. And then take these ones. Oh, we can fix this too. Let's bring these into here uh, like that. And then this flops like that. And we've got this nice, beautiful road right across the top. And that can go right into this yellow on the far side. If I have lots of population, less through traffic for this. We could even... Ah, uh, no we can't. <laughs> we could put the blues up here. Like do yellow like this. Cut that off. Blue comes up, over. And then crosses here into there. Ah. Like that. 
And then we don't need this. We can just do a traffic light there. We don't need that. Well, we do need that traffic light. <laughs> that one's a little bit more important. But that works. Let's uh, let things play out with that. A bit more yellow there. That's great. Red on the far side. Green spawn. Okay, okay. Let's put in the road. Uh, and let's get rid of this tree, just in case we can get more spawns there. A bit more red. That's great. Put that on that. Yellow at the bottom. Roundabout. I will take it. Oh, right. Connecting red. So cut here. But we could do that. Or uh, even do something crazier like this. Add blue and yellow back onto this line. And this will just do these two. So these two will be uh, one, two, blue, one blue there, one blue here. We've got two blues left, three blues. We can take this back. Yeah, we can take these four, three, that aren't being used. Run them up and around like that. And then if we need to, we've still got these two blue, do something with it. Just put a roundabout in. And they can be fed into whatever needs the most. So we got two on this one, one on this one. Let's do something like this. And then we can always flip this if we need to. I think that works. I've got this green down here as well. I almost forgot about it. And we've got a bunch of yellow spawning there. Looks like light blue is getting a little bit flustered. Are we at rush hour? No, not yet. I think we make it a little bit tougher for blue. Easier for yellow in the future. Just keep piping yellow across the map. Looks like we've got a couple extra cars, so we're good there. We will essentially just need like... Oh, there we go. Thousand. Uh, what is it? We're just going to need a full-on setup for up there. Get a lot of green spawning in random spots now. That's good spawn for us. yellow that's cool I've got a whole bunch of yellow and I don't really know what they want me to do with it yeah I guess it's way too much yellow we need other things like blue <laughs> we need a lot of blue uh, we did get that bridge back so let's just throw this onto here uh, which is spawned more red more yellow motorway please yes Okay, um, wow, there's so many things that need motorway. Uh, so I think first off, we need to address this one. It's pipping up, so let's connect these two. It doesn't have to be good, it just has to work. We could even do it on this side, so they don't cross. Okay, and then yellow. Yellow is a great candidate for the motorway just because of the distance, or dark blue might need it more. There's a lot of interruptions around here. We'll see how it goes. We're not in too much of a rush. It looks like we do need a bit more yellow there. Uh, okay. <laughs> we don't have a bridge. That's some blue. That's good. Put that, send it. I think we can cut this. We need that bridge back. Uh, and we can put this maybe here. Yellow needs that roundabout, or the motorway. So I think this goes here, this cuts here, that goes in there. Is there a way to make this one bridge instead of two? Okay, first off, let's address this. We've got a bunch of extra yellow in here. I'm thinking we throw a roundabout somewhere in here, our motorway in here, throw it on like that, and just ship these across. Got extra if we need it. That will save that. And this block of yellow up here just doesn't have a good use. It's not the best color map that I've seen on a on I mean on a map. <laughs> uh, we don't have any bridges lying around. We've got two used here. We could. Oh, you know what? This is a great time to kind of utilize that train mechanic. 
because there's only really a supply demand issue when the train's here. So we can save a bridge and just cut them along like that. That way we only have one bridge being used and we can use that other bridge for things like, I don't know, these yellows. <laughs> they might need to go over here. Let's fix this up, get these cars moving. Lots of new blue ones. Okay. Hopefully this is enough blue. This green looks like it's doing fine. <laughs> That's a messed up motorway though. <laughs> really doesn't like when you start doing weird turns on it. Blue on that is uh, reasonable. Roads or roundabout? I think roundabout is what we need. So we just got that weird spawn right here. Maybe we can split the path here. Kind of like weave our way through this instead. So we have this line and this line. This gets cut. And then blue comes up through here. We can have this like weird pocket of yellow. And then the rest of the yellow, let's consolidate that. There we go. Uh, we did get that bridge back and I think we might need it depending on where we get more blue spawns. Got this little pocket here still. Uh, what else? Red's doing fine. Uh, dark blue is surviving on the little population it has. In fact, it's doing really well for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. So we could take this back, move this down by one, have this as the lower of the two, slap it in there, and then this line can run parallel. And I guess this will have its own group up here. Something like that makes sense, right? Yeah, we can do that. That's getting a little bit dicey. Don't like that one. Let's throw a little bit more population on that for now, just in case. That leveled up the dark blue at the top. So we're gonna see a couple more dark blue spawns. Hopefully they're good. That one's fine. Oh yeah, okay, we're good. That's fine. Looks like that's set up now. We're good. More yellow. <laughs> Nothing to do with the uh Come on, <laughs> it's something else. Uh, okay, that works, we can make that work. This, we can cut here maybe? All right, we can at least do this. That can flop that way, this can go this way. Now we are getting to the point where we might start getting two circles at a double destination. So this is probably a dangerous spot in terms of long-term planning. I think that's good for now. We can just make it that work. Doesn't do much, I bet. I mean, it's closer now. And we can cut there. Oh, I missed that spawn. I think it was this one. Yeah. That's great. That's four. Green up there is struggling. Okay. The motorway works. Okay, we could do a motorway. Okay, let's do that without this. Um, I think we're fine for now. We can just kind of let things coast. See where we get spawns. We still have this group as well. We might have to connect this. 1800 already. Yeah, but it looks like this is already starting to struggle. So let's do a bit of a, a juice. We'll inject here for now. And then work on this. Oh, that's great. I'll take that. Yellow. Oh, wow. Yellow, come on. <laughs> we thought we were friends. That's good, okay. That might have to stay. Uh, dark blue, what's, oh wow, okay. Um, There's so much up here that I haven't connected. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can get this, oh you can. Ooh, that's sneaky, okay. We could also just put this one on here. We also have this one, probably best to put it there. These ones can go up. This all goes to the same roundabout, so that's fine see what else can we do we need a bit more blue i mean this will probably catch it once this train goes by and stops interrupting all my work these are all jammed up there's a 2000 okay how's this one doing this was the 
Ah, uh, yeah, the extra population goes there. Two, four, five, two, four, five. We could try something across the river, but we've got this extra still, so let's just keep pumping that. I think yellow might just be angry right now. I know, <laughs> I mean, blue's really angry right now. I'm gonna even go crazy and just like tick these together for a second. So we get all these ones running. And just disconnect those. Just a little bit of juice. Looks like green's fine now. We can disconnect this. Uh, oh geez. I think that's fine. I think it's... Uh, 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 I can't even throw a roundabout in there. It's too tight. Um, oh boy. Uh, hopefully that's not the end. There's only two pips on it past Max. Maybe that. Those guys in there. Yeah, that helps a lot, I think. I hope. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, is that the only one that's really angry? I think so. I think it is. Okay. Um, we did get a motorway. We have two motorways now because Queen just disconnected. Maybe we can do something like this and just speed all these cars up. Yeah, let's do that. And then this extra one, let's just dump that right into here. The red goes. Great. That's horrible. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's a mess. It's working, though. Saved. Red's really angry. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, move this out by one. Red comes in like this. Let's even grab this. Oh, we don't have the motorways yet. Okay. Once we get our motorways back, and this uh, deadlock clears up. If it clears up. Okay, uh, come on. Team. 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 I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> come on, team. Uh, which one's suffering the most? Probably this one. Yep, let's fix this. Go around. You can do it, guys. That's the way. In you go. Uh, okay, get going. Ah! Too far, too few cars. 2491. Oh, I was going well. It was. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple things that I've learned. Uh, in this first playthrough. So one thing, let's uh, get rid of this. So these are really predictable. Like I was really concerned about trains, but it's probably the easiest component so far. Just having something so that you know how much you need. Like this was running off what? Where is this one? This was running off two for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's literally just a how many cars can you pump in the time it takes for the train to go all the way around? And as more stations are added, you get more and more time. Like, it's the weirdest backwards logic. But then these trains are just kind of like, oh yeah, like, I got a couple passengers. Which is really, again, really weird because trains are like high density, right? So I'd expect more. But regardless, it's, it's fine. It was good. It was enjoyable. It's a new feature and I really like it compared to some other features. Overall, that's pretty good. I'm happy with this. For a first attempt, 2491. Usually I aim for 2500, so we're just a little bit under. What does this turn out to in terms of final score compared to everybody else? We get the Mumbai unlock, but more importantly, let's look at how we are compared to everyone else. Top 5%. That's pretty good. And you know what? That's pretty much in line with what I expected. Looks like you can get about 4500. We are probably getting kind of close to that. It looks like a lot of people have played this already. 2300 on a new map, that's... I mean, what, what would that be, like, uh... 20 times this, so 40,000 players so far? So about 10% of people are getting 2,000 or more. Only 0.5% of players have the complete 2,000 trips into London achievement so far. And this is new content, it's not, it's not locked by anything. 
I'm pretty sure it's not locked behind anything. It's right after Tokyo. So that means, let me just pull out a calculator. I'd say we have about 5,000 people in the top, I guess, 0.5% of players that have the achievement. We divide by 0 0.05. That means there's 100,000 players that play this game, or have at least opened the game. That means that 95,000 players haven't gotten the London Driver achievement yet. So there's a, there's a lot of more potential to this. I'll just gotta like try. <laughs> That's my call to action. Get out there and try this map. It's pretty interesting how they've melded their two games together in this very fun 10th year anniversary. We're of course gonna be trying Mumbai. This one looks a little bit easier at least, like just to train on the top, hopefully. Hopefully this is the top of the map and not the middle. And then I don't know what New York City is gonna look like, but I'm looking forward to Mumbai. Whenever I have a chance, I'm definitely gonna be trying this one out. Mumbai might be a little bit more easy, I guess is a way to put it, but I'm sure it has its own troubles with this huge, expansive water down the middle. And if you've tried this, let me know your score in the comments. I'd love to hear how my viewers are doing, uh, and check out the Discord. We've got a Mini Motorways channel just dedicated to showing off how good you are, or asking for tips, tricks, or anything in between. As of that, I have to ask you to like and comment and subscribe, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.